Good morning, folks. Yesterday afternoon, the SDO feed went down, and it hasn't come back. They initially gave a 24-hour window for downtime, but later updated to say that the fiber cables connecting the data centers were cut. Like, actually cut. As baffling as that sounds to reasonable listeners, it's frustrating for space weather watchers because the sun is starting to go ham. We're taking larger M flares now and at this rate, X class won't be far away. We're left with secondary resources like the Gong H Alpha network from the National Solar Observatory, the Proba swap which you can find at Helio Viewer as well. You can also access the GOES SXI, the Solar X-ray Imager. It is up to date as well. Not bad. Until SDO returns, we'll have to make the best of these resources while also utilizing the coronagraphs on SOHO so that we can track any CMEs that erupt, and they certainly are erupting. Thus far, nothing coming this way though, and in terms of geo-effective flares, filaments, and CMEs on the Earth-facing portion of the Sun, we are relatively quiet. Something to note. Some of the SXI imagers are actually phenomenal at picking up coronal holes, looking dark here just like they do on SDO. The north and south are both showing extreme force to the openings, and both are of negative polarity. We'll need to call another quake watch coming, especially as it combines with the Saturn-Venus conjunction and whatever space weather that northern sunspot delivers over the next three or four days. Solar wind calming a bit off its speed peak magnetic instability is decreasing along with it smooth curve returning quickly note the russian rocket engines are now being blamed for the antares disaster a few days ago the article is linked for you below along with the video links for the latest flooding in italy the central and northern areas prone to flooding got it and also some areas not so used to rising waters more to come on this situation Let's quickly kick the quakes where the Nevada swarm continues. It has blossomed out to the Oregon border now, actually, and continues with no real signs of stopping. We can finally say with certainty, Nuri will not make landfall in Japan. Into the north it goes. Meanwhile, that area we eyed in the Bay of Bengal indeed now has a cyclone warning to it. It may also have triggered this highly unusual tremor away from the fault system. In the U.S., we've got a low in the Midwest still driving cool air down the backside and around to meet the northern flow of heat and moisture racing up the east. Convergence swings through the Gulf states while the North Pacific moisture flow remains up there and still seriously relevant. You can see how those systems shape tonight's alerts for the U.S. and Canada. Could have some big snow up north in some areas. Two systems to watch here. The obvious one is spread from Iceland to the coast of Portugal with a pretty solid convergence. The other is in the Mediterranean surrounding Italy's flood zone where a northern flow again meets a cooler air mass coming from another direction. The two cloud lines that form in the wake of these pressure scenarios are obvious here and they produce tonight's alerts for this part of the world. Much less exciting down under, it's that same convergence reaching up and west past Darwin actually. Also got a flow over New Zealand. Now since the SDO is down, let's switch it up just for today and check our current conditions to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, 5.25 a.m. here in Texas. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.